What's going on, YouTube family? The man, the myth, the predator, Alex Lexus. I'm coming at you with a little unboxing. Now, many of you know I've been supporting the RAM mount for my ZX14. And although great and everything, I noticed there are times where if I don't have the net on the X clamp, it actually shifts and it doesn't always stay centered and straight. So what I decided to do was pick up an alternative and uh, go, you know, I'll be able to use both, you know, because with the net, it'll stay in place, but it, it I don't know, it, it, you know, it's a military thing. I like this dress right dress, center line, all that stuff. So with that, I'm gonna just have a second option. So I went ahead and got the quad lock for the S8 Plus. I was going to get the S10e, but, there's, you know, there's no point in, uh, you know, jumping generations. Until the wheels fall off, I'm going to keep this from. But, yeah, so right now I'm just going to unbox the ball joint or the um, ball adapter that will um, work with the existing RAM mount. So, yeah, I had to go ahead. You know, one thing I will say, they should... Um, give that little lock mechanism different colors i know that they they sell them but by default that blue is going to stand out on my bike so it is what it is but um looking at the box ball adapter or ball adapter mount and here are the other accessories that um comes with um quad lock it's patented now I'm checking it out because I'm possibly going to do like the, the wrist adapter so I can kind of have that Predator aesthetic and put it on the uh, on my arm. But uh, let's take a look at the actual casing itself. Now I did see some reviews on this and oh, actually pretty pleasant. It has a nice suede interior, right? And it has... The quad lock mechanism or the adapter. Now, from what I was told, when you lay it down, it doesn't, you see, like lay flat because of that. But, you know, the all intended purpose is to get that to lock into the back. So, first time playing around with it. Because once it's in there, it's in there. But, you know, just playing around with it. Hopefully, I can get... Uh, like a second camera. Oh, I see how that works. So once it's in place, it's not going to move. So let's see. I'm trying to play around with it. You know, if you hear my dog eating, sorry about that. Oh, so you pull the tab up. Lock it. Bam. It's in place. And then I can adjust it as I see fit. This looks pretty, pretty nifty. And it has all the appropriate holes. For it, yeah, the adapter, like, well, it was like four, uh, 59 bucks with shipping, but considering the materials used, I think you're really paying for this. I don't know, the case itself, uh, we'll have to see, but I won't be able to record um, how that looks with it on there so. Um, I'll probably get, some, like I said, a second camera or use my GoPro to see how that looks. So, uh, with that being said, that is the unboxing for the quad lock. Uh, I'll do a product review later on um, ac with actual application. So, this is service part one. But um, it looks good. I, I think if you have an expensive phone, and let me tell you, I, I already had an issue where I, I cracked this screen on the S8 Plus. It was three hundred dollars to fix, <laughs> and that that wasn't fun, you know. So you 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 might want to, you know, invest. Just like I said in the other video, where you know you want to make sure if you're doing the ride, you're doing the hobby, get the appropriate gear. Me, I'm a tech guy, so I like to have all that Bluetooth stuff and all that, you know. So I heard nothing but good things about it. So this unboxing has been brought to you by ZX Predator. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to be notified of all my content. And I will see you guys next time. I'm going to say the quad lock, when I put it on, that thing was on there. 
it didn't move and it moved as I moved the uh, the bar like you see I like to orient my uh, cell phone widescreen so once it's in place it's in place like I have to say that's the one thing that uh, aside from Ram Mount um, it, it I am I am impressed and the profile I have it pointing down I have it nice and situated on the ram mount accessory i'm gonna try it for a couple rides and let you know what i think but uh this is just bonus footage for this and a prelude to the next video this nesson or nissan uh caliper or, or master cylinder is getting upgraded to the brembo similar to the brembo master cylinder i have here i think this is the 16 can't remember but yeah, that's the that's you know preview for the next video. So I'm um, gonna get some info and advice from you guys on that. Um, but just like I said in the other segment, rate, comment, subscribe. This is just bonus footage. You know, this is looking really nice. I might end up getting this in black, but the blue is not too bad. But like I said, I can't record it with uh, with it on the camera. Oh, matter of fact, I do have an idea. Where there's a will, there's a way. So, just showing you how the mount looks. If I had the phone on there, but yeah, it would situate itself like this. Now, it is a little off, so I'm going to, because I was fiddling with it, but yeah. I like it that way. And I have the charger, the USB types, well, yeah, I have the charger here. So, it'll just, you know, line up. But I will, like I said, I will have some videos showing how, what it looks like from the GoPro. Um, I'm going to try it in the vertical position. But you see, this kind of, you know, being it that way, it kind of hides everything. But it's pick your poison. Like I know everybody has a different preference with how they orient their, their screens. But, like, for me, this looks dress right dress. This is down the middle. You know, having it off on the side, if I can help it. It is what it is, but um, like I said, bonus content. I had to show you kind of how it looks like, but look, it's on there. I moved the wheel or the uh, triple tree, and it's looking good. All right, folks, that's that. That's the end of the episode. See y'all later. All right, folks. Promise this is the last part of this video. Something I discovered. Um, I'm actually pro quad lock for now and it doesn't take anything away from ram mount because i still will have it but i thought that i would have to only orient the um the case one way but it turns out if uh i can actually spin it to the vertical position i'm in love with this this came out really nice so I don't have to do any adjusting and all that like I had to do with the ram mount, but it sits a little bit high because if you can see with uh, my heated grips, I um, I want to be able to see it, you know, because there were times I had to reach around and like, yeah, you know, but yeah, quad lock is on point, but like you can turn it whichever way you want. I can't do it like now, but if you push the a lever down and then you can turn it to any position you want. So I had it. I like it horizontal, but I like the option of being able to go vertical. Well done, Quadlock. You, you, you earned my uh, stamp of approval on this one. You know, not that it matters because uh, I have to say, ZX Predator. Well, I'm always looking for some stuff. So with this case, if I could get the armband and put it on my arm, you know, just or like I could go running or whatever with it. I think I might. They might be in uh, in in a good position with that. So that's all I got for you. See ya.